What it do, everybody? It's your boy, King Crowder, checking back in with a history that you may not know or something that I'm here to educate you on. Today's lesson will be about the Underground Railroad of the South. Did you even know there was an Underground Railroad to the South? Did you know at this time in history that Slay, um, Spain held captive of Florida and owned that territory and they did not have slavery in Florida? So most of the formerly enslaved that were in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and those part of the country escaped and sought freedom in Florida, leaving the plantations in the South. People do not know that the Underground Railroad of the South was the first railroad transportation to get there. Even though it was not formally organized, they were not abolitionists, there wasn't a particular movement of whites helping them get there, these formerly enslaved had a code within each other. They would communicate with the Tut language that we spoke about before, using those dialects to guide one another. If you all ever saw the symbolizations on the trees and different things like that, these formerly enslaved would guide each other by saying, hey, head this direction. Hey, go here. You're almost at freedom. They would use symbols, different ways of nonverbal communication to guide them where they needed to go. These enslaved at the time sought the Florida region because the Spaniards said, hey, if you will work the ground, grow and work with us, we will give you your freedom. Now, the Native American Cyclones, the Seminoles, the other Indians, Native Natives at that time, taught them military, how to work the proper Florida lands and how to self-sustain each other. If you ever wonder what was the first free land in Florida at the time for formerly enslaved, it was St. Augustine. Most people do not know that the issues with Spain and the United States occurred because most of their enslaved at the time that were leaving those um, plantations, people in the South began to complain, especially the whites. Man, we keep losing our enslaved capital. They keep leaving the plantation because they would just leave and have freedom in Florida. The reason why the United States wanted to make that treaty and get Florida under that belt because it became a huge problem. A lot of the enslaved population came to Florida built up their family, their reserve, their economic resources, and became dependent, completely dependent upon themselves. If you ever wonder why this point in history and why I should connect, those were leaving the South, and that's where the Seminole Wars became, became, became an issue. The United States noticed that, man, we have a huge problem that we cannot control. These Blacks are leaving us, self-developing on their own, and becoming incredibly self-sufficient. How do we stop this from happening? Because the ideology began to spread. We began to see more and more things start to happen. Another thing that I think is incredibly important that I didn't learn about until I got older, if you're ever in the state of Florida, any blacks that you see, especially in North Florida, you will always learn that Florida has zero slave plantations. No people ever noticed that, but wouldn't you think that place in the South would have a lot? But the reason why those formerly enslaved people burned down all the slave encampments in Florida. There are literally zero slave plantations in Florida because a lot of those that were escaping slavery was burning them down, setting everyone free and creating a mass exodus from that type of lifestyle. Another thing that I thought was incredibly important was that Fort Moose, St. Augustine, Angola, the British Fort, Cape Florida, Castillo, and Fort Jefferson, all were freed enslaved campments built up from nothing. These formerly enslaved developed this land, moved there, cultivated, allowed their families to come there, and literally defined out ways to defend each other. So they assimilated with the Seminoles and other natives at this time to create families. So marriages, unions began to form and happen. So these allowed for a new subset of ethnicity that formed in America. That's when you saw the Black American movement and different things become the began to combine because you got to think they were stripped of their culture when they were in slavery the native americans at the time had their culture a very different structure so they assimilated to build a whole brand new ethnicity the reason why this is such an important part of history that most people need to understand is because we always must remember resilience and getting away from that down south mentality was always there among black americans it was always there that they had an issue with the United States government controlling them, the slave plantation honing them, that the, the whole need and desire to move away from that was always strong. 
The reason why this is such an important part of American history, we began to get a full scope and glance of what was happening and how we saw the early developments of the Civil War occur. You must think, this thing was happening. The North was trying to tell us that they had to do one thing and the South was having issues with these different countries and how they were fighting. That's where the battles occurred from. You ever wonder why you saw those gaps and in intermingling? That's why those battles occurred later on. But not to get too far ahead of myself, I think this huge component of a Southern Underground Railroad is something we almost learn. Because if you ask the average person in America, black, white, any ethnicity they are, they will not know this. But it's a huge part of history that I think is tremendously important. It's your boy King Crowder, checking back out again with a gem, a nugget, or information you did not know. Today's lesson was on the Underground Railroad South, which was the first one, and the one that was decentralized and had the most part of movement in it coming from that part of time. I just want to chime back out with you guys. Thank y'all guys for subscribing and liking to the channel. If you have any other content you would like to see, please let me know. I'm checking out. Peace.